Well done, mate. Congratulations and well played, most importantly. Happy? Yeah. Calvin, congratulations. I know you've not had an awful lot of football recently, but that was a special night, mm -hmm. and England were through to Germany 2024. How special does that feel for you? Yeah, obviously very, very special. Uh, very happy to uh, go through with two games spare, and you know I think you know the reverse fixture in Naples was you know the start of something special, and we knew that it was going to be a tough road, but we got through it, and now we're here, so we're very happy. You played in that game as well. Yeah. You played in this one as well. You've done the double over Italy, which doesn't happen very often. Well, if only we could have done that in the Euros final, it'd have been nice. But yeah, I think. You know, after after that final, it really hurt us, and we've not got anything against Italy. But we obviously knew that we owed them a little result back, and a win, and we've done that twice now. So hopefully, we can continue that. Run. You've been a really big part of the journey that this England team have been on, from the moment Gareth came in to where they are now. And you can never take qualification for granted, but it taught, it shows the um, the expectation, the the increased belief within the squad. Mm -hmm. The qualification isn't enough for you anymore, is it? No, I think whatever game we play, we always want to win. And, you know, this game, you know, we won this game, but it doesn't happen if we don't play on Friday and win that game. And, you know, if we don't win that game, then there's a lot of talk on the outside and, you know, it could be quite negative. So, obviously, we want to win every game we play and that's what kind of team we are now. Uh, we, we're expected to win most games and, you know, we also want to go out there and win every single game we can. So, I think, you know, with players that we've got and the management we've got and, how good of a group we've got, then you know we shouldn't expect anything less. And it's a fair question to ask now that you've <laughs> qualified. Yep. Do you expect England to win the Euros in Germany next summer? Obviously, it's a big, it's a big question. See you later, bro. It's a big question to answer right now, but you know we're a very confident team at the moment, and you know we just want to continue the run that we're on. Uh, we want to build on results that we've had, and you know we've got two more games still left of the Euro qualifiers, so you know hopefully we can carry that run on and beaten and go into the tournament strong. And after you've battled back from the injury you've had, mm -hmm. how important do you get some game time for your club now when Gareth Southgate is clearly backing you, he's giving you opportunities mm -hmm. and you want to be part of that, that, that squad in, and that starting eleven in, in, in Germany next summer? Yeah, obviously it's massive, you know, as a football player and especially me, I'm very competitive but I want to play football, I want to play as much football as possible and, you know, over the last year and a half I've not been able to do that um, due to injuries and etc. So, you know, it's something that obviously I'm going to have to think about and, you know, hopefully, you know, my chance does come, but if it doesn't, then, you know, I've got to make other decisions as well, so. Very uh, Cal Kelvin, uh, what has Gareth said to you about the game time? Obviously, you have, you have his belief, but has he said anything to you about your, your club minutes? Will it affect your international? Well, it's not done so far, so I, I don't really know, but he just says, obviously, you know, for me to keep my spot, I've got to be playing games and um, that's what I want to do. And, uh, Obviously agreed with Gareth on that, and I know that myself that I need to be playing games. I need to be, you know, competing every single weekend, and um, you know that's something that I'm going to have to make a decision on over the next few months. So. Thank you. And uh, uh, one 